Hey there friends, I'm Melanie and you're watching AKA Mommy and I wanted to do a video today for you guys explaining how it is that I am able to stay under a $100 a week budget to feed my family of seven. Now there's really not a whole lot to talk about here so I'm just going to jump right into the video and share with you my thoughts on this and hopefully give you some ideas along the way. Okay guys, so before I go any further, let me first say that if you are brand new to my channel, my name again is Melanie, I am married and I have four children and my father-in-law also lives with us. So I am feeding basically seven people every single week and my grocery budget on a weekly basis is $100. Now that is going to seem extremely low to a lot of people and I can completely understand why I get questions um, on my videos of how in the world are you feeding your family on just $100 a week. Um, especially if you've watched any of my grocery hauls, you'll notice that I don't tend to buy a whole lot of meat. And a lot of people in America eat meat every single night. We do too. We eat a lot of meat in my family. So I wanted to um, do this video and explain to you guys why it is that I'm able to stay under that budget. So, we um, also purchase grocery groceries from two different other locations, but it's not on a weekly basis. So the first is that I order chicken, fresh chicken breast from Zacon Fresh. This is a company that travels all around to, in different states and they deliver fresh meat. I know they have um, steaks, they have chicken, they have shrimp, they have sausage, they have bacon, they have a ton of different options. I personally have only ever ordered their chicken um, simply because I I love it and I find it to be a really, really good deal. Now, I always order my chicken through Zacon when it is $1.69 per pound or lower. The last time I ordered it, it was actually $1.29 per pound, which is significantly cheaper than I can find chicken anywhere else. My Walmart everyday low price near me is $1.99 a pound for chicken. So this was 70 cents per pound cheaper. And so what I did at that time was I ordered 80 pounds of chicken. Now Zacon sells their chicken by the case and a case is 40 pounds. So basically I ordered two different cases or I ordered two cases. It was fresh, never frozen. And so I brought it home. I separated it all. And then myself and my daughters, we basically just worked together and we got it all into the, um, the sealer, the, the, what is that called? The vacuum sealer, the vacuum sealer bags. And we put it in our freezer. Now that was back in, I believe, February. 80 pounds of chicken, if you are smart with it, will last a really long time, even if you have a big family. I can tell you, especially because several of these chicken breasts are really big. Um, I can usually feed my family with just two of these, two chicken breasts between seven people. And again, a lot of people are going to say that's ridiculous. That's not, that's basically nothing. But the truth of the matter is we just don't tend to make the meat the main um, the main part of our meal. We really try to make that the vegetable, um, or, you know, maybe I'm making chicken and I'm mixing it up in a pasta dish, um, in which case you just don't need as much. So you really can stretch out your meat to last much, much, much longer if you're smart about it. Um, I also will take chicken and cook it and then shred it and I can use it in chicken tacos, chicken quesadillas, I can make a soup with it, a chili. There are just so many different things that you can do. You don't necessarily have to have one single chicken breast for every person in your family. I mean, I can't even begin to imagine cooking six or seven chicken breasts for my family all at one time. That seems like so much. Um, 
So that is the primary reason that you don't really see a lot of chicken in my grocery hauls, um, even though we do eat a lot of chicken. I am going to be filming a video sharing with you guys how exactly I do my meal planning step by step. And when you see my meal plan, you'll see that the majority of the meals that we eat, we actually use chicken as the meat source. So I definitely wanted to put up this video first and explain how that's possible when you don't really see a whole lot of chicken in my weekly grocery grocery hauls. Now I will occasionally buy some chicken tenderloins or something of that nature. I do buy chicken sometimes but I definitely only buy it when it is on sale and I don't buy it that frequently. I buy um, beef, you know, I'll, I'll buy a, a, a roast to make pot roast. I'll buy pork chops. I will buy um, you know chicken thighs I will buy occasionally because those are naturally going to be cheaper than chicken breasts anyway. So that is one of the ways that I'm able to save money, but because I perch I made that purchase back in February, that chicken is going to last me for a very long time. Um, I, I mean, I would say that chicken is probably going to last me six months or more. In the past, I have made it last even longer. So that is that is one way that I'm able to keep you know keep my budget low. And I will say that knowing that that is one way that I purchase meat um, for my family, I will put aside money during the rest of the year just a little tiny bit at a time so that when I'm when I'm basically really low on chicken, I can reorder. So I, I don't really, off the top of my head, I don't know how much I'm going to need to budget for each of, you know, in order to be able to do that. We just started working more diligently on our budget and so I'm still working on that but that will basically go into a different budget or a different line item on our budget. So the other thing that I wanted to point out is that you guys are seeing my weekly grocery hauls where I go to Aldi and spend a hundred dollars or less on groceries but I also go to Costco once a month. Now I'm trying really hard not to buy the bulk of our groceries at Costco because while I do I absolutely love Costco. I love Costco and I absolutely could buy all of our groceries from there. I do believe that it is more expensive to buy groceries there. I love it and I wish that I could do it, but in our current season, it doesn't line up with our financial goals. I really need to save as much money as I can and that means buying strawberries and spinach and milk from Aldi rather than from Costco. Um, I, I hope that one day I can be at a place where I can just spend whatever I want to on groceries, but at the same time, I, I hope that I also am always of the mindset that I want to be wise about how I spend my money. So please don't misunderstand. I love Costco and if you do your shopping at Costco, that is awesome. If I could, I absolutely would, but it just doesn't line up with our goals right now. And so uh, I only go to Costco once a month and generally what I'm buying from there are things like um, cleaning products, you know, if, if we need laundry detergent, if we need paper towels, if we need diapers for my daughter, I do our, I purchase our dog food, our dog food from Costco. Um, what, what else? I have kind of moved away from buying just the regular everyday things from there. I do still purchase a few of our staples from Costco that I just haven't found a better product anywhere else. Um, I buy turkey burgers from Costco because I think they're phenomenal. I buy their pesto because it's the best that I have ever found. Um, there's just a few things like that that I, I pretty much always buy from Costco because quite simply I just can't find um, a product as good anywhere else. So I would say that on a monthly basis my Costco budget is right now my grocery budget for Costco, my grocery slash household budget is $200. Even that seems a little bit high to me, but when you take into consideration that you, you know, if you have to go in and buy diapers and dishwashing soap and laundry soap um, and a lot of those household items, you're going to blow through $100 really fast in Costco. It still is a better deal. It's still the best place to get a deal if you don't want to go into the whole couponing game. Um, so I do that. So I've got a $200 household slash grocery budget budget for Costco on a monthly basis. Um, so if you are not watching my Costco hauls, then make sure you check out those as well. Because in between my Costco run 
and then my weekly shopping at Aldi and then the chicken that we have down in our freezer that is literally everything that I'm using in order to make meals for my family now um, occasionally I'll need an item for a specific recipe that I can't find at Aldi um, as an example there is a dish that my husband really likes and it is so incredibly cheap and it's it's really really filling and it goes a really long way it is basically um, kielbasa sausage with black beans onions and yellow rice but it's but it's it can't be just any rice it has to be this very specific yellow rice and they don't sell that at aldi now luckily for me at walmart it's like 80 cents a package it's really really cheap this is one of the cheapest meals that we probably make for our family because let's be honest it's beans and rice with a little bit of meat mixed in but um if there is a recipe like that where i need something very specific that nothing else will substitute in for and i can only get it at walmart um, i will go to walmart and purchase those items i probably go to walmart about once every two weeks to fill in a couple of gaps my father-in-law is also very specific about a few of the things that he likes to have um, in his diet and so I do have to go to Walmart occasionally to pick those up specifically for him. I might, I might consider putting a Walmart haul back in um, on my channel. I just, I haven't really been picking up very much there. I'm not buying produce or meat or really anything there of, of real substance. And so I haven't been sharing with you when I have to run up there. Um, but pretty much, guys, that's it. Now, Another thing that I'm thinking about doing is a video showing you what's in my freezer. So showing you kind of what's in my freezer, what's in my pantry, and that way you can see what it is that I'm using to make these meals. But I have been asked um, a couple of comments on my videos as well as some private messages people just genuinely wanting to know how in the world based on what I'm seeing in this video there's not enough there to feed seven people for a week. So I wanted to make sure that I explained that to you guys in a more thorough way. So if you have any further questions, please feel free to leave them down in the comment section below for me. As I said, I really just wanted to come on and clarify for you guys and hopefully help explain the way that I do this a little bit more. Immediately after you see this video, if I can get them uploaded in the right order, you will see my meal planning video and I will be sharing with you precisely how I do that step by step and hopefully that will help you guys as well. So until next time, I hope that you guys are all doing really well. I hope that you've enjoyed this video. If you are not a subscribed to my channel and you would like to see future videos, make sure that you hit that red subscribe button before you go. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. I so appreciate you always supporting me and my channel and my family. And until next time, you guys, I will talk to you very, very soon. Bye-bye.